What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with another video. Now, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, this is our first program. But before you do anything, go and hit that like button. Go on and hit that subscribe button, which I know y'all already are subscribed. But if you're new to my channel, go on and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bells. Now, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, this is our first pro am game ever. I ain't never played pro am. This is my first pro am game of NBA 2K22. Now, I'm not gonna lie, we was going crazy, man. We was going crazy in the pro am. We was like, oh, let's we'll see how they is. Let's see how the pro am is, cause you know we mostly be playing wreck when we play fives. When we have five people in able in a party to play with, and you know, usually when we play wreck, it be just boring. We was just be bored. So he was like, man, let's just come to the um pro am to see how this is, cause y'all know they said pro ams are the best players. So we want the player the best of the best, you know. Test our skills out. That's what you do when you feel like you're nice. But as you can see, my boy Caleb ends up missing our first shot of the game. Then they get a cherry pick and he throw it down and he gets a green. And now we're down 3-2 zip just like that off the rip. I mean, it was crazy. I'm not going to lie. They was going crazy. And I see he ends up throwing a turnover for our second possession of the game. But my boy Prodigy ends up blocking the ball and end up. My boy Killer hits me on a fast break. I end up passing the ball. It goes out of bounds. So now, right now, we're inbounding the ball. They hit me. I hit my boy Killer in the corner. Green Bing. Yes, sir. You seeing the little easy dime in the corner? That's the IQ. When you play pro am, you got to have IQ. If you ain't got no IQ in the pro am, I ain't gonna lie. You might as well go on to turn your console off because you was not gonna have no fun. You're not gonna have any fun in the pro am. If you don't play, like if you just a brain dead player and you just do the same moves, you gotta do more than that just to get open and try to score. And you gotta look for the zones and see who on your team is open and how heavy they guard it. And you gotta try to read the defenders and all that. It's a lot that goes into playing pro am. I can't explain it all, but if you want to get into the pro am, just search it up. And I'm gonna, I'll pro probably probably hopefully in the future make some program tutorial tips teach you how to play better defense and all that but when we play program mostly we play two three and i'm up top because i'm a nice lockdown that's what i do when i play a program i'm the lockdown i'm the lockdown i don't care about nothing else i don't want to run point none of that i just want to clamp people up and get steals and i was playing in this game when they patched steals because you see well from this game play like they ain't patch steals on caleb our uh, point guard because they just kept ripping him the whole game. I don't know why, but it just happens every time we play. Ain't nothing we can do. I don't know why, but they just rip him. But oh, he throw a turnover. But like I said, ain't nothing we can do. But yeah, man, I might make some tutorials on how to play better defense in pro am, how to play better defense on 2K. If y'all want me to make that video, go and hit that sub. But like I said, you see how he, he about to lose the ball? Like I don't understand sometimes. But hey. That's past the point. Right now, you see we're down 8-3. to three, And they end up following my boy Caleb at the three-point line. And so y'all know he's going to the free throw line. He's going to get his little three off, the little one. The little two free throw, the second one. And then he's going to get his third free throw off. And now we're down 6-8. to eight. We only down by two points. I mean, the game is really still in our hands. It can go either way. But when I'm up top in that 2-3, boy, it's going to be hard for you to score. Boy, I ain't going to lie. Me and my boy go. Hey man, that's what we do. We get in that two, three up top. Hey man, there might be raps for you. We done seen a lot of people get ready to get raps. So I ain't gonna lie to you. Now you see the end up dunking on our center like there's nothing we can do. We can't help him because we guards. I mean, he just gotta try to defend and hold down the paint on his own. But as you can see right now, we trying to get open. My boy Caleb trying to get open. You know, he hit my boy go. He passes it back to um Caleb. And now we just trying to find our way, trying to find a little system. I see me here with the step back pull up. It was white, but it's still green. You did, you know what I'm saying? Right now the score is nine to ten, and we're up. Now I'm telling y'all, man. Look, look at that, Stevie. <laughs> come here, easy steal by me. That's my first steal. Now I should have took that, but I was waiting to see how the play was gonna go. And I see yeah, yeah, my boy go. My boy Caleb pump fake. He trying to get up. He trying to do it. Do you see me going to the mid range? Pull up, green bean. I told y'all, man, mid ranges is the killer in the pro am. Those are the game deciding shots. I'm telling you. You can really shoot that mid-range in the program, but you'll be a deadly play. I'm telling you. 
I'm, I'm telling you, man. Try those mid ranges out. Now you see them, they throwing another steal. I end up getting the ball back. Now you see me. I'm waiting to see what they do. I hit my boy Reese in the corner. He end up throwing the ball back. Then I hit my boy Go. He end up pulling up. Now, I don't know why he shot that, but he ends up getting the board back. You know what I'm talking about? And they end up fouling me at the free throw line. Now, my player has no free throw because I make all my players, which, well, he made one of them, but he's going to miss his next one. I didn't think I was going to play prime with these builds because these are usually park builds. You know, usually if you do play prime, you have a park build and you have a pro am build. But I brought my park build in. We mostly all have park builds because we're not playing pro am competitive. We're just playing pro am for fun, which since we are, we need to probably start making pro am builds. But I don't know if we're going to keep playing this. You know, we just like to have fun and mess around, really. But as you can see right now in the first quarter, we are up. we were down by two, and now we're up by two. Now, as you can see, my boy Caleb is trying to get open, do what he's trying to do. He hit my boy go. You know, that boy's a shooter right there. Boy, they all really shooters. I just got to work on my shooting a little bit. Now, my boy Caleb pull up for the mid-range, and now we're tied. I thought we were up, but I guess we were down. But you see me ending up following him to slow the ball down. We get another second quarter. You see my boy go get I told you, man, we're a daily duo up top in that 2-3. I hit my boy killer in the corner. He ended up pulling up. Yes, sir. It ain't green. But it's green if you know what I mean, man. You seen that little easy three shot over there. Now, right now, we're up by three. Now, that two, three is about to kick in, boy. I'm telling you, man. Now, you see, he end up trying to get me with the fake. They end up pulling up from the hash and end up missing. But they send against the rebound, and they get a second chance. Now, they trying to work out in the post. But they end up in the point guard, getting a little, trying to get a little screen off. Now, you got to force something up. He got to force up something crazy. Now, you try to, woo. He tried to jelly him, but we end up getting a steal. You see me out on a fast break, getting a dunk. Yes, sir. Now we're up 22 to 15. All we need is a few more stops, and I ain't going to lie. Might as well go on and pack them up, boy. I ain't going to lie. Right now, you see right now, the score is 22 to 15. We end up getting another steal. And I end up faking, pulling up on a three off the Hezzy. And I end up greening it just like that. And the score is 25 to 17. Them boys I ain't know what to do, man. They had to call a timeout. They said, oh, they running it up too much on us. Bro, we don't play that, bro. Come on now. We do not play that, bro. We not playing none of that. We in the pro end. We swear it get real in the field. Look at me trying to pull up. He end up missing. We get up out the phone a fast break. My boy Caleb has the ball. He trying to facilitate. He hit me. I hit my boy Reese in the corner. He trying to get open, trying to do something. He end up hitting me. I fake pass. Now, I shot the shot because I thought I was going to get a crab animation. Or I didn't think the center was going to step up. But he did. So, it's nothing we can do at that point. Now, they're down by five. It's a five-point game in the second quarter. Now, you see my boy Caleb trying to cook up, do what he do. Telling y'all, man, the program, I just be chilling sometimes. If I got to turn up and do what I do, I do what I got to do. Now, you see my boy Goat pulling up for the three. Green being off the catch and shoot. Now, you see them throwing the ball. Come here, cookies. Thought I was going to shoot that. Nah, man, I hit my boy Reese. He ended up dunking them. Look at him. Little boy. You see the animation? Little boy, come on now. I told y'all, man, I'm that lockdown, bro. When I'm that lockdown, it gets real. You look at me. Getting this tip steal and everything, and they end up catching the ball out of bounds, and it's our ball. My boy Goat pulling up for the three again. Green Bean. It's a 13-point game. I told you. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Look at him. He tried to pull in my mitt. Like, what is wrong with you? That's not happening, bro. See, my boy Caleb end up throwing the ball. Down. I hit my boy Reese. He's trying to get open. He end up hitting me. I hit my boy go in the corner. Green Bean again. That boy is a shooter. Do not leave him open at no cost. It's going to be green. That is what we do. I'm trying to tell you. You see, we end up getting the board. We just running it up on them like the Golden State Warriors. They cannot stop us, but he ends up throwing a turnover. But it's all right, though. This is a 16-point game. Now they try to they got to try to score. And look, I told them that lockdown. Give me that. Easy steal for me. I got four steals right now. Keep up. That's four steals in the second quarter right now. Man, four. Watch how many I have at the end of the game. I'm telling you, bro. See, I end up hitting Mar Center in the post. He ends up hitting me. Now, look, I'm trying to step back. I'm trying to cook. My end up pulling up, and I end up missing. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. They get on the fast break, cherry picking. They end up getting the white that I should have got. 
like sometimes I don't understand sniper because sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. But for other people or other teams, it might work every single time. I mean, it's ridiculous. Remember when I told you they was ripping our point guard a lot? I don't know how they was ripping him because he has gold unpluckable. I don't know what it is about his players sometimes, but hey, that's a bust. That's past us right now. The score is 36 to 25. We're up by 11 before going into the half. Hit my boy Go on the cut. He ends up scoring now. It's a 13 point game. Now, I'm telling you, man, they're going to have to go through our defense. Now, look, he ends up passing the ball to the dude on the ass. I'm trying my best to bait him. I'm trying to get a steal. Trying to get whatever I can. Now, you see that hit that center in the post. He tries to take it up over our center and thought that was going in. Oh, no, buddy. He has the wrong team. He ends up here, my boy, go. We're going to try to score before the half. But they end up pushing him out of bounds. Now they have two seconds to work with to try to score. They end up hitting dude on the hash, and their center gets a 3.5. But that's past that. Now we're in the third quarter. Score is 41 to 28, beginning of the third. Now it's that time for it to get real. This is the time where it really shows what team is which. Because, you know, the first half can be one half, but that second half is what really determines the outcome of the game, how well you play. Now let's see. It's an 11-point game. Begin another third quarter trying to start up. My boy Caleb, they all trying to get how to end up leaving. My boy Reese in the corner open, pull up, you know. It ain't green, <laughs> but it's green if you know what I mean, you dig. Now we have a 14-point lead, and they end up throwing the ball my way. And I told y'all, do not throw that when I'm the lockdown up top. It's going to be over with. Now we end up turning the ball right back over. Don't know how, but hey, man, we passed that point. Now you see them look. They end up trying to bait us, bro. bro. We're not going for none of that. Now look, look at me. I get the tip passing. That's another steal for me. I'm at six. I'm at six steals. Like, come on now. Six? Come on, man. Stop playing with me, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Now, as you can see, the score is 44 to 30. They still throwing Stevies like it's nothing. Like, bro, I was just going crazy on defense. Like, they ain't no. Look, I told you, come here. Give me that. I'm at seven. Now, you see my boy Caleb on the fast break, get the easy dunk. I'm at seven steals at lockdown. I told y'all, man, this build is overpowered sometimes. The only thing I don't like about this build is the shooting sometimes. That's really about it. Because it's sometimes it'll give me an early shot. Sometimes it'll give me a late shot. Sometimes it'll give me a very early release. Sometimes it'll give me a very late release. Like, I know my time on my player. That's the only thing I really don't like about this my player right here. That's really the only thing I don't like. Now, some of the badges don't work. Like, pickpocket, bro. Oh, I, I do not like that they patch pickpocket. Because it's, like, no use for this video. Because, you know, on-ball steals really don't work in this game. At the time I'm releasing this video, on-ball steals really don't work. So, there's no really no use for Hall of Fame pickpocket. Because it barely works. Like, that's ridiculous. Just because people complain shouldn't make that. Like, steals was good. Defense was good in this game at one point. It was very good. Like, people just complain too much. Like, that's ridiculous. Because, like, in the pro -am, like, this is no reason. There's no reason for me to have Hall of Fame pickpocket if it barely works in the pro -am. That's what it really shows. Just because everybody was getting ripped. Okay, they should tone it down just a little bit, but not all the way where the badge is just ineffective. Like, come on now. Badge barely work now. It's ridiculous. And I still got seven steals with it barely working. Like, that's crazy. It's barely working. But, yeah, man, let's get back to the gameplay. As you can see right now, the score is 49 to 39. You see my boy Go is on the hash. He ends up pulling up for another three. And right now, the score is 52 to 39. Now, they have to try to do something. Now, look. I'm trying to tell you, all two, three defense is crazy. Our rotation is crazy. It could be a little better if we worked on it a little bit more, but it's still crazy though for what we're doing. Now you see they end up shooting a contested three and end up getting their own rebound. But my boy Reese gets a steal in the corner. You see I end up dot my boy go. He doesn't shoot it, but he does hit our center. He sees Reese. Now Reese is messing around. He gets the dunk off. Now the score is 52, I mean 54 to 39. It's a 15 point game. Now let's see what they can do. They're down by 15. They really ain't been scoring this court. I mean, we are going crazy, but they end up responding back with a tough three pointer. Now the score is 54 to 42. We got like a minute left, left in the third. Now we just gotta really just secure the game. We just gotta keep the lead, keep the momentum going. I mean, that's all I can really say, man. 
We going crazy on these boys for our first pro -Am game ever. Come on now. We's going crazy. My boy Caleb ended up walking back. Green Bean. He got the burn on him too right now. It's a 15 point game again. Now they end up pulling another three and he ends up breaking. Now my boy Caleb run the point. He ends up here. My boy Go. Go here's my boy Reese. He ends up pulling up another shot. It ain't green. But it's green, if you know what I mean. I mean, if you don't believe me, just look at the gameplay. It's saying it all right now. I ain't got to speak too much, you know. Look, he's trying to cook me, bro. I'm not going for that. Even though he gets a little green, I still wasn't going for none of that. I never go for none of that. Like, you got me bent, man. Like, what is you doing? I'm not one of these other dudes, bro. I am me. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Right now, it's a 15-point game. It's like 20 seconds left in the third quarter. We almost going into the fourth. He hit my boy Go on the cut. He ends up pulling up for the for the mid range. Now, as you can see, the score is 62 to 45. A 17 point game. Now let's see what they can do. They end up trying to pull up and they end up missing. Like, come on now. I thought y'all was like that. This the pro am. How y'all gonna come to the pro am and not be ready? Now you see that boy Caleb takes a crazy layup to end the quarter. Now it's the start of the fourth quarter. The score is 62 to 45. 17 point game. All we gotta do is just finish strong. Now you see my boy go get this steal up top. I'm telling you, man, we some crazy lockdowns up top, bro. Now you see he ends up sending his stuff snatched out the air. Oh my goodness. He just snatched that ball out there. I ain't even going to lie. But, yeah, man, right now it's a 19-point game. Even though that call was a goal 10, that's still a crazy play right there. It's still crazy. I ain't going to lie. That can be me. But, you see, we end up getting a steal. They end up fouling us on the fast break before we could just run and gun the ball. Now, you see my boy go get the ball. He going to try to do what he do, try to ISO, whatever he calls this. <laughs> whatever he call that right there. You know, my boy Caleb, he trying to cook up, he trying to hit my boy Reese, my Reese, my boy Reese, pump face, step back. I don't know why he did the step back, but hey, man, and Goat took a lay. I don't know why, but they had us that play. They had us that whole possession. They gave us a 24-second shot clock. Don't know how, but hey, man, we passed that point. Now, you see my boy Goat gets another steal. My boy Prodigy launches the ball. Boy Caleb pulls up Green Bean in his mitt. I ain't even know it was a green. I did not see it on my screen. But they said he greened it. But, hey, man, that's crazy. I don't know how he greened it, but he did. Now you see my boy Reese taking off with the little Jordan dunk, trying to do what he do. Right now, it's not looking too good for these boys. They about to get dubbed by 30. I mean, they about to get beat. Right now, it's a 24-point game. You see they end up trying to pass through my boy Goat. He not going for that. I'm not going for that. Now, look at the hate on my team. Look at him. They be messing around too much. Like, bro, why would y'all call a timeout on me on a fast break? This is what these dudes do. They do this all the time. I don't know why they think it's funny. Like, why they do this to me. But, hey, I'm going to get them back. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get them back in one of these gameplays. I don't know why they think this is funny, though. They always do that. But, hey, man, it's all right, though. They just be hating on a brother. <laughs> they don't want to see a brother succeed, if you know what I mean. My boy Caleb pull up in his mid green bean. Right now, it's a 27 point game. Score 72 to 45. I mean, what more can we do? Like, goodness. I ain't gonna lie, this couldn't be me. On the other side, getting beat like this, you getting beat by almost 30 still playing. Like, I wonder what they were saying to each other in the party. Like, what do you say to your friends in the party when y'all getting beat by 30? It's just like, bro, it's time to close up and turn the game off at this point. Bro, ain't nobody finna beat me by no 30. And he ends up trying to pull up on the fast break like we wasn't ready or like we wasn't going to see that, which we did. And I ended up here, my boy go. He hits Caleb. He ends up pulling up Green Bean again. And it's a 27-point margin again. Again. Now, look, they still throwing the ball. You said I was supposed to be my steal right there? Like, come on, 2K. Don't cheat me like that, bro. Now, you see, he tries to go to the rim. We end up stopping him. Oh, I seen him just launching the ball. My boy Caleb pulls up again on a fast break. Green bean. Now, it's a 30-point game, and they cheated me on my steal right there. Y'all seen that, bro? They got to start trying to cheat me on my steals, bro. Like, that is just wild. Like, come on, 2K. Stop cheating me on my steals, bro. Give me my steals if that's a steal. Now, look. Now, that's a steal right there. Thank you. At least they gave me that one now. 
Now you see me, I'm trying to hit my boy Caleb, and this end up being a turnover, my first turnover of the entire game. Like, that's crazy, and I don't like how my player got silver bullet passes either. That's another thing. I wish I could have gave this player more playmaking to unlock gold unpluggable. I would have changed something about no unlock gold unpluggable because this player really needs it. If this player could get gold unpluggable, bro, he would be crazy. Now you see that end up hitting me. I'm passing the ball. They're not going to make me shoot the ball with one second left. Like, they always do that. They think it's funny. That boy Reese ends up getting the ball and pulling up. I don't know how he made that shot, but some way he did and they're losing 80 or 48 i mean like for real what do you say to your team at this point when y'all down 80 to 48 and y'all all looking at the scoreboard like what do you say what do you say to him how, how y'all like y'all not arguing or nothing i just want to know if y'all see this video just leave a comment what y'all friends would do if y'all was in a party down by 30 like are y'all happy or y'all sad are y'all arguing with each other like what are y'all doing i just want to know y'all reaction like, that's crazy, though. Now, you see him end up trying to throw the ball my way. Like, I told y'all, I get them steals. I have, look, bro, I got nine steals. Nine, almost ten steals. And we're beating these boys by 35 in the comp pro-am. We're the best of the best play. Don't come out here if you're not ready with your squad. Don't do it to yourself. It's a setup. Look at this. This is a massacre, bro. Like, don't set yourself up like this with your squad, bro. It's not fun for nobody. It's fun for the team winning. But I know on the other side, boy, I know they heated. This could not be me. I'm telling y'all, bro. Like, do you know what we would do if we lost? We lost by 30 in the party. Maybe one time, bro, everybody had to remake a new bid. We was like, nah, bro, something got to go. Ain't no way we getting blown out by 30 every time we play Pro-Am. Nah, bro, that's not even about to be, that's not even about to start. Like, that's just crazy. But right now, you see we beating these boys 85 to 55. And they end up being down by 30 with a few seconds left. Now, you see... Right now, we just messing around. My, our center ends up pulling a three, even though he can shoot those threes. He just don't hit them sometimes. Now they're down by 27 now. I'm not going to lie. We just gave up at this point. Like, our team was just cherry picking. We didn't even care. He was just trying to, I don't know what we trying to do. We was just messing around at this point. You see, go, he messing around. He ended up stepping back. He almost shot it. He messed around. Boy, Reese pulls up for the midi green beam. The score is 87 to 58. End up pulling a white on a fast break. Now, look, Reese didn't even miss. He went 10 for 10, 5 for 5 from the three point line, and had 25 points. He was going crazy, man. Now, you see me end up throwing another turnover in the final seconds of the game. They end up pulling up for another three in the corner. Now, this is how our first pro am game turned out. It was a fun game for us. We're going to come back in the promo. I'll record some more pro am videos later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, share the video, and I'm out.